It's the new year. Yeah, well, it will be. I mean, We're recording this fairly late, so you guys probably aren't going to watch this until it's 2022. You're not going to see this video until next year? Probably. I mean, maybe. I mean, judging by the algorithms, I'd say it's more than likely. So anyhow, we're here to talk about the movies of the past uh, year, and briefly about last year, since I didn't get to talk much about 2020. And there's not much that much to talk about 2020. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have a list of all the movies that I saw last year, and all the movies I saw this year, as well as all the movies that I didn't see. And uh, we also wanted to talk about some of the movies we saw this month, uh, including one that features a certain uh, singing lion. Which uh, we just saw uh, today. Ah, yes, yes. That was uh, the new Kingsman movie, right? Uh, it, no, we didn't see that oh, one. We didn't see Oh, it was the Matrix movie. Is that the one with the singing lion? No, it wasn't that one either. Oh, hmm. I'm at a loss. <laughs> well, we'll get, we'll get you in a, in a bit. Uh, all the reviews of the current movies will be as spoiler-free as possible. <laughs> uh, so, anyhow... Uh, so 2020, uh, really quickly, uh, started February, I saw Sonic the Hedgehog. Did you see Sonic the Hedgehog? I did, I did. And I uh, did you service. enjoy that? Yeah, I liked uh, the part with the blue hedgehog guy. <laughs> Not really, though. No. I mean, I, I liked it. Uh, I wasn't expecting much, and I was like, well, i got to check this out. i got to see right. how bad it is. And I actually was surprised. It was actually, it was a fun watch. And I would, All uh, right. Uh, well, uh, Lionel and I actually saw it with a group of furries. Oh. It was probably the last furry meet that uh, I think I've been to besides uh, any of our uh, personal birthday get-togethers. I, I see that. I can't do a furry meet because I'm vegetarian. <laughs> so anyhow, I uh, definitely loved that movie and I mean, obviously uh, America loved it because it's getting a sequel next year. Yay! Uh, the next thing, I actually saw two movies uh, on my own. Uh, right before the shutdown, I think like days before, I saw The Invisible Man and Bloodshot. Wait, wait a minute. How did you see The Invisible Man? Think about it. Uh, think I about did it. not care for The Invisible Man. I thought it was god-awful. Uh, between uh, the way that nobody seemed to want to believe the protagonist, and uh, even though... Like, she was offering, you know, uh, reasons why she was totally insane. They treat her like she was crazy. And uh, parts where things happen in public, where there would have been witnesses and potentially security cameras, she's still blamed for things the Invisible Man does. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so, and not to mention the the technology they supposedly using in this. Uh, the trailers kind of gave away a little bit of it. Yeah, they showed but, the guy with the suit. But yeah, it is it, it it wasn't the worst thing, but uh it was a slog to sit through. There's so yeah. many so much time in the movie that's just sitting there waiting for something to happen. Yeah, I heard and, that the uh, you know, main, nothing's uh, on screen. I heard that the main antagonist was uh rather two dimensional and it was easy to see right through him. Uh huh. Uh well meanwhile, Bloodshot, the other movie I saw starring Vin Diesel as a comic book hero. Uh, it was actually a fairly good movie, I felt. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a very interesting movie. You'd be the only one. I know, it's not a popular <laughs> opinion, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I had one nitpick about that movie, from what I recall, was there is a scene in which uh, there is a fight inside a, a, a tunnel, uh, one of those uh, ones that cars drive through, and a, uh, I can't remember what kind of truck it was, but some kind of truck carrying... A, some kind of powdered substance like creamer or something, maybe it was sawdust, uh, goes filling the, the entire tunnel, and that's kind of what helps him to hide from his enemies in this scene. And they're using road flares to, to light up the place. Now, if you've watched uh, Mythbusters, you can use a road flare to light up uh, sawdust, and it will be an explosion. Mythbusters proved that, so I was, like, really annoyed by that. So anyhow, afterwards, uh, I got Scoob on, uh, on DVD and oh Blu-ray. Oh no, I haven't seen it yet! I did a review of it already, but I very much enjoyed that. Lion and I both got to see that. Uh, then, uh, it was a, quite a drought, obviously, being 2020. But I did, I did get to see Hoobie Halloween, uh, Adam Sandler's Halloween uh, movie, 
which, uh, despite being an Adam Sandler movie uh, <laughs> after his golden days, uh, was actually not that bad. I definitely would recommend anybody who wants to see a funny Halloween movie to check that one out. Probably could have mentioned that back in October. <laughs> Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, you can watch it next year, hopefully. Uh, and the last thing I saw from uh, last year was uh, Wonder Woman 1984, which I actually got to see with my sister. Uh, and, um, yeah, I had mixed feelings about it. It was, it was okay. Uh, I, it could have been a lot better. I think the, I want to say the, I like the original one better. Yeah, I like how uh, one of the characters, the armor she's wearing, Comes from a character that has the same first name as my mom. It's a very oh, wow. unusual name. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, and uh, it was just a really anyway. It was named after the woman that originally wore it, and I'm like, oh, that's uh, that's cool. That I know that name. That's my mom. That's pretty name. cool. Yeah. So, a uh, quick run through of the movies that came out uh, in 2020 that uh, I had interest in but didn't get to see uh, that I may eventually watch at some point, and if. Anybody out there has seen those movies and thinks that I should see them, you know, leave a comment down below. Let us know that you'd like us to, to see it, uh, thinking it's a good movie, or if you want us to review it. Uh, so January had Bad Boys for Life. Uh, I have, I own the first two movies I have not yet watched, but I would watch those. Uh, Doolittle. Uh, I have, I remember the original, uh, the previous Dr. Doolittle movies with uh, Eddie Murphy. My which I friend, enjoyed. My old friend Frank uh, did a voice. He voiced some random animals in that oh, movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Frank, uh, Frank who? Uh, Totoro. Frank Totoro. Todaro. I'm, uh, sorry. I, I'm sorry, Frank, if I don't know your name. Uh, 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 Esri is making a joke in uh, the fact that I did not care for My Neighbor Totoro, which I did in a yeah, pre I, previous video. It screws me up because that's how his name is almost spelled the same uh. way. So I don't, I, I always said Todaro in my head, but I've never asked him how to actually say his last name. So in my head, it's always Totoro. Okay. But anyhow. So uh, that was January. February was Birds of Prey, oh. the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, which I own on Blu-ray and I hope to watch I'm some a point. bird. Indeed you are. Uh, I had not heard about this movie until I was looking up the list, but in Practical Jokers, the movie... Uh, I know somebody who does not like Impractical Jokers at all, and I don't know quite know why, but I enjoy the show. It's and not me. It's, I, I, like, I like the show. And I especially like their, the game probably. show they have, uh, they participated in. Uh, Guns Akimbo, uh, I love, another movie I have on Blu-ray, haven't seen yet. I love that movie. I've watched it at least twice already. Probably well, we'll three times. It third time. I you? really like Guns Akimbo. It's dumb. It's just a fun movie. Turn your brain off. And enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it stars Dino Radcliffe, yeah? Yes, yes. I actually, I'm one of those people that I've only ever seen the first Harry Potter movie. But I've seen a few movies uh, with Daniel Radcliffe in them. And I really enjoy Daniel Radcliffe. But for his post-Harry Potter stuff. Because I don't really... At this point in time, I'm probably not going to get into Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah, do you have your other reasons for not wanting yeah, to? Yeah, there's but a yeah, couple others, which will... It's fair enough as well, even if it wasn't the case, because it's a long series, and yeah. they're hit or miss. Yeah, I've Some of them do... are better than others. I've got other things I'd like to see, and I think I might it's, actually want to talk about. It's unfortunate that so. the first one was, was, like, the least of all the well, movies, I'd say. Look at that. <laughs> What's that? No, keep going. Okay. Uh, so, the... <laughs> The next uh, movie uh, came out in April, Trolls World Tour. Uh, I have not seen the original <laughs> Trolls, but I remember seeing the trailer for the new movie and thought it was seemed interesting. Uh, and I, uh, I liked musicals, uh, at least ones that are done right. Uh, so I'd be interested in checking that out. Uh, in May came Survive the Night. Uh, I, I honestly can't remember what that was about, but I put it in there for a reason. I think it's uh, like a horror action movie or something. Uh, ne next in June came Armis Fowl, which uh, I believe seemed uh, fairly interesting. I'd, I don't think there's actually birds in it. I am a f what? I don't think it's. A but although, it says fowl. Although, uh, did Spies Like Us come out last year? Um, Spies Like Us. Uh, it, it's a movie about a s secret agent who gets turned into a pigeon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't Spies Like Us the old, like, Or maybe I'm thinking movie? of wrong movie. Maybe I'm getting titled yeah, mixed up. Bit. Maybe that came out in 2019. I missed that, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyhow, uh, getting back to our list here. 
Uh, so, uh, next was My Spy, which starred John B uh, Batista. Is it John Batista? I... No, Dave Batista. Dave Batista! Why am I saying John? There's a lot of John. Dave Batista, uh, and it seemed like it'd be a fairly amusing movie. Just seeing, uh, you know, uh, Drax the Destroyer playing a, uh, a tough guy who's, you know, stuck with a little girl and has to protect her. Uh, we Bear Bears the movie. I so wanted to see that movie. I love the series. I think I missed the last few episodes as well. But I sadly did not get to see the, the finale movie. Although they are getting a spin-off series uh, about their... Well, prequel series about their time as, uh, as cubs. Although they did have Ooh. episodes featuring them as uh, little ones. Uh, next, uh, Hamilton... Uh, I love Weird Al's interpretation of uh, the song, and I love Lin-Manuel Miranda, who we'll <laughs> talk about a little later in this video. Uh, so I'd be willing to check that out. Uh, I watched about half of it. I'd be willing to, I'd also be interested in learning any history that it might be willing to teach. Uh, the Old Guard, I don't remember why I put that on there, uh, but obviously something about it caught my attention. Uh, next, Animal Crackers, uh, another Ooh. animated uh, animal movie. Uh, seemed like it could be interesting. I have not heard anything about it, so it might have gone under the radar. I don't know. I heard that movie is rather half-baked. Uh, <laughs> uh, next, uh, uh, August, Hard to ki Hard Kill. Again, I don't remember what this one was, but it, uh, obviously struck me as something that might be interesting. Uh, Tenet, uh, that, uh, clearly, interesting... It's, uh, clearly about the 10th Doctor, Doctor, uh... David uh, Tennant. Yeah, that David would be Tennant. Tennant. Yeah, Tennant. Uh, yeah, but, that's what it is. Tennant right uh, there. It's an interesting movie. I, uh, I forget who's in it. Do you ever... Uh, uh, with, yeah, it's not an actor I'm familiar uh, with. Okay. I'm sorry. I have the picture in my head. But though, yeah, right? I, I, I forget who starts it. I'm sorry. Uh, there anybody who's a fan of this movie. Uh, but it did seem interesting, and I kind of wish I could have seen it. Uh uh, I believe it's actually available on streaming service that we have access to, so we could watch it. Uh, Bill and Ted Face the Music, which I do have on Blu-ray, and I believe I you've it. seen it. I rented it right when they started streaming. I'm oh, like, wow. I don't want to go to... My brother... I wanted to watch it with my brother and another friend, and my brother uh, could not get the time to go see it with us in theater, oh. so I was like, well, why don't you just come over? We'll watch it here. So that's what I did. I rented it, and we got a bunch of people together, and then uh, we watched it. I awesome. Lo I loved it. And I look forward to seeing it then. Uh, and uh, we may do a video uh, reviewing it. Uh, so that next, uh, The New Mutants. Uh, I think that it probably didn't get very favorable reviews. It but did very, very poorly. I still want to see it, though. Uh, it's a, it's technically a Marvel movie, huh? Yeah, it, well, yeah. But it's it was one of the... Uh, it sat on a shelf for a couple years, yeah. and when Disney it's, acquired Marvel, they're like, "All right, let's just release this." It's kind a of horror office. movie, right? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, but I, uh, my friend, one of my friends, uh, Lena, who's a, a very big fan of these things, even they didn't like it that oh much. My. Wow! <laughs> and they generally but don't give things unfavorable reviews, e even if it's bad. I still <laughs> think I want to see it. Uh, next, uh, Phineas and Ferb: The Movie, Cadence Against the Universe. I am not, like, the hugest fan of Phineas and Ferb, uh, but I have watched a, a few episodes here and there, and uh, some of the specials, especially the the Marvel crossover special. Yeah, I saw uh, which that. Which I really enjoyed. Uh, I liked it, too. So, you know, I, I definitely know the characters. Uh, I love Dr. Dolphinschmerz. I've actually started watching some of it. That uh, was uh, The create, yeah. He's not quite a bird, but... Yeah. <laughs> He's blue! He's And he's got favorable features. <laughs> he's a beak, yeah. But yeah, uh, the creator of the series actually voices Dr. Doofenshmirtz, and he's been posting videos online, and he often breaks into his character, so that is really cool. Uh, so I definitely like that. And, uh, of course, uh, th I loved Milo Murphy's Law, which is their sequel series, which featured uh, Weird Al Yankovic as the main character. Cool. So yeah, uh, I would I'd check that movie out if we had had the opportunity. Uh, next uh, September had Guest House. Uh, again, I don't remember why I put that on the list, but it was one that I figured I'd list. Uh, the Babysitter Killer Queen. Did you ever see the Babysitter? I have no idea. Isn't Killer Queen the sequel? So. I have no idea. It was just on a list of movies that came out last year. It was wonderful. I enjoyed or two it. years ago. If you're watching this in 2022, totally watch both of them. 
Great. Uh, I, I have seen adventures in babysitting. Mm, they're not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, even... I know. I know. <laughs> uh, next, the devil all the time. Uh, I have, again, no idea. Don't know. Uh, rent a pal. <laughs> again, no, no. if anybody has seen some of these movies that I don't know about and you think they're worth checking out, let us know. Uh, next was Cats and Dogs 3 Paws Unite. I'm probably sure that's a terrible movie, but I saw the it's second an one. animal movie. Oh, Cat Kitty Galore, Revenge yeah, Kitty Galore. I saw it in theaters and, uh, I was like, hey, there, there's the guy in there that used to be a writer for Conan O'Brien. And I was like, oh, that's kind of oh. neat. That's about the only thing. And, yeah, I mean, you're not... This is aimed at very young yeah. children. Young children. Yeah. So don't expect that masterpiece. I wouldn't be. Uh, but, you know, it's an interesting uh, live action, animal action. would might be interesting. Here's uh, a feral. October uh, brought us The War with Grandpa, which, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, Robert De Niro? Playing a uh, uh, like a very uh, curmudgeonly grandfather or something. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, next is a babysitter's guide to monster hunting, which the title alone sounds interesting. Uh, Honest thief. Again, no, no idea, but uh, something about it must have caught my eye. Uh, the witches. Uh, Roll dolls. The witches, uh, which again I believe I saw on a streaming service, is, is available. Uh, I have seen the original version, the, the classic version, uh, with Angel Angelica Houston as the, the head of the witches. I thought that movie was pretty good. I think, I can't remember if Lionel and I ever covered that, but, uh, they're obviously remaking it for a reason. Uh, I'm not sure if, I don't think Roald Dahl's still yeah. alive, but I remember he did not care for how they adapted his story. So yeah. it could be trying to be more faithful to the book. I heard it didn't do well, but if you do see it, I could finally ask you, hey, you saw both of those movies. Which is your favorite? Ah! <laughs> Good one. All right. Um, <laughs> next, Over the Moon. I've seen Over the Hedge, but not Over the Moon. I don't know what Over the Moon was, but that's on the list. Uh, Borat's subsequent movie film. I love the first one. I believe you said you've seen uh, this I one. I did. I went... When that came out, I was going to bed, and I was very tired. It was the first day it was out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to play a couple minutes of this while I go to sleep, because I had to work early. And uh, I didn't go to sleep until the credits were 100% <laughs> <laughs> I Wow, it. it's that good. Hey, it's so it's good, it tough. won't put you to sleep. Yes, it's he's, it's just ridiculous. If, you saw the, if you've seen any Sasha Barrett Cohen movie, and you understand his humor, it's more of that. There's not a lot of original... Uh, I think it is original. Look, <laughs> just right, it's funny. If you like Sasha Baron Cohen, I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right. I hope I get to see that at some point then. Uh, next is one that I don't know if I will see, but I put it on here anyway. The Craft Legacy. I saw the original movie back in the 90s. I think it was the first rated R movie I'd ever seen. Uh, oh, wow. But Mine yeah. Terror in the Isles. But yeah, uh, I heard it, it, it shat all over the original movie. I think they did bring Feruza Balk, I think that's her name, uh, maybe butchering her hair, just pronunci pronunciation of her name, but, uh, yeah, I, I might be, like, morbidly curious into seeing how badly they ruined it. Uh, next in November, Freaky. I desperately want to see that movie, I've been avoiding all, as many spoilers as I can, but, uh, it's, a Freaky Friday, you know, uh, uh, what was the name of that uh, movie? Cri not Criss Cross. Um, Vice Versa. Vice Versa, thank you. With, uh, it, yes, with uh, 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 Fred Savage and uh, Judd Reinhold. Yes, that's it. So it, is, it is a movie uh, with that premise where two characters swap bodies. But in this case, it's a teenage girl and a grown man. And that grown man happens to be... Dun, dun, dun... A serial killer. Oh! So, that's yeah. That's so freaky. Uh, it's, it seems like a pretty interesting movie. Uh, also, kind of uh, funny, it's a little bit trans-ish, uh, because it's about a guy becoming a woman and a woman becoming a guy. Uh, and uh, while the girl isn't trying to be the guy, the guy is trying to be the girl. He's trying to pass himself off as this girl in order to... Uh, you know, not get caught. I could see the, the trans so, undertones, but of course, if you don't identify, I mean, then they're it, not really. It, it might not be intentional, but, you know, I definitely feel like, I mean, first of all, the fact that, you know, she's playing a guy pretending to be a girl, 
you know, is It'd be interesting to see how they handle so. that. Uh, so yeah, I have I have that on Blu-ray. Looking forward to watching Ooh, it at some point. Oh, I like the color of that, right? <laughs> uh, next, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. I have no idea what that is. I should have watched it for Christmas. Oh, Christmas, it's this yearly but, holiday in December. You get a lot this of This is an airplane! Uh, Jiu-Jitsu. I don't know what that, what that movie is, but it seemed like it could be interesting. It Buddy is. Games, another one I don't know about. Uh, the Croods 2, A New Age, uh, something Lionel actually saw in the theaters. Uh, I think he saw that while I was seeing Wonder Woman, but I, uh, I could be wrong. It was some, something or other. He saw that one. Uh, the Christmas Chronicles 2. Again, another Christmas movie in November. And the last couple uh, in December, Monster Hunter. I don't know how I haven't heard anything about that. I've not played any of the Monster Hunter games. It must games, not have done. It must but not, it's still uh, no apparently came out. And I, Soul. I did want to say about jujitsu. It's about oh. um, there's like an alien or alien robot thing that comes oh, through really? this portal and they have to fight it once a year. It comes through every so I can't remember if it's like once a year or once every ten. There's some sort of interval where this little this creature appears and they have to have trained fighters fight it off and or Weird. so they can buy more time or, and uh there's like a whole group of them um and they gotta uh, you're gonna assume one of them's gonna defeat this thing uh nicholas cage oh okay that's why all right that's why i put on the list i yeah. i love nicholas cage whether he's incredibly incredibly insane in the movie or actually acting in his heart out i'm gonna feel so bad if that's the wrong description uh Is anyhow it? uh the last one i mentioned was soul uh, Soul is uh, one of the few uh, big Disney movies that I haven't seen, uh, along with uh, another one I'll be listing in a little bit. Uh, so this year, uh, I already did a review of it with Junior, but Demon Slayer Mugen Train came out in April. We saw that together. Uh, the following month uh, came Spiral from the Book of Saw, which uh, Lionel and I both saw and reviewed. Uh, next, we got the first movie we saw together in the theater. The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard came out in June. That was fun. Uh, we actually saw the uh, first movie okay. the night before. Uh, I'd already seen it, but she had never seen it. So we watched that together the night before, and then we went and saw the movie. Yeah, that was our okay. first time going to see a movie together. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a bit more of the same, but, uh, you know, if you like the first movie, you'll definitely like the like the sequel, I feel. Uh Salma Hayek is definitely uh, in it more, <laughs> uh, whether for, for good or for worse. Yeah, uh, her character was fun. She was a bit abrasive, so yeah, it's it, more about... if you can't stand, uh, you know, uh, Latino being, you know, yelly a lot, it might not be for you. But otherwise, you know, I thought it was a very enjoyable movie. I didn't, I didn't uh, have too much of a problem with it, but I could see it being an issue for some. Yeah. Uh, the next movie we saw in July was Black Widow. I like it. Uh, it definitely really... could have had better seats, but, you know, uh, yeah, we I... took what we could get. It was a packed showing. Uh, COVID restrictions just starting to lift up uh, around here. And, uh, yeah, we we were uh, we had to sit yeah. in the seats right below the screen. It was pretty hot. It was uh, pretty bad uh, yeah, seating. I liked the but movie. the movie was great. I liked the movie a lot. Uh, but, yeah, it... If you're looking, it's it's standard Marvel. It's a very standard yeah. Marvel movie. Um, like mostly, it's a flashback. Uh, well, it's uh, the origin of Black Widow. Yes. Basically, it's her backstory. Uh, it does uh, it start in like the nineties. Yeah, and it does tie in with the modern day. So yeah. there is, there is. Uh, I mean, it does lead into that. So you do. You can't really watch it out of order, right? I mean, yeah. some people say that they did. They tried watching them in certain order, and it's like, yeah. Well, There's a few things that'll ruin it, but the just it, it's standard Marvel. If you're bored of the Marvel formula, it, it might be something worth skipping. But it's it, also important if you if you watch the uh, Marvel the uh, the Disney Plus series. Yes, because uh, certain ties. certain events uh, happen in that movie. Yeah. Uh, are it ties in tied in. Yeah, yeah, it ties into uh, not only the cinematic universe but into some of the uh, at least one of the Disney Plus shows. Indeed. Alright, uh, the next movie we saw was The Suicide Squad and Free Guy in August. Yes, I uh, preferred Free Guy. Suicide, The Suicide Squad, uh, so just making sure the, for some reason, is a very important word in the title, uh, was actually not a bad movie. Yeah. Uh, it, it could have been better still, but uh, okay. it definitely improved on its 
predecessor. Yeah, it did what... Other the, than the title. It did what DC movies have trouble doing, and it was fun. It yes. was supposed to be fun. It was definitely fun. And it was a very fun movie. I liked it. Uh, did you think any of the, any of the uh, characters that we got to spend majority of the movie with were entertaining? I liked pretty much all of the characters. I like the ones that always seem uh, useless. Like, they would be useless. <laughs> like Polka Dot the... Man, for instance? Yes, Polka Dot Man was a, basically a joke character. <laughs> he did. And he actually ends up being pretty great in the movie. And I like it when something you would expect to be a terrible character actually ends up being kind of interesting. Indeed. Uh, and the, the only downside of the movie is the rug pull at the start of the movie. Yes, yes. They, uh... They disconnect themselves from the other characters in the first movie very quickly. Well, not just that, but... Yeah, well, you don't want to... Well, you know what? It's been... It's, yeah, it's been a while. It's I, been I'm a not while. getting into specific spoilers, but I'm just saying... The opening of the movie, uh... Kind of, uh... Gives you... Doesn't give you what you, uh, Are thinking you're gonna get. Yeah, if, and, uh... You get... You get the rest of the movie... The... The last... Nine-tenths? Eight-tenths of the movie? Are... Focusing on an entirely different group of characters. And it felt kind of cheap. We were like, oh man, these guys are kind of interesting. Uh, we can't wait to see what happens with them. Yeah, they and introduce a whole new team. A only to get team. rid of them. A mostly new team. Just to kill almost all of the Okay, team. We're, we're just, I mean, let the movie tell Suicide Squad. Well, yeah, yes. I guess she is. And look, yeah, okay, well. look, you're going to get a new character. Oh my god, new character. Nope, you don't get the kid drunk. And you know what? If it's a spoiler to you... Uh, it's been out for a while. You weren't going to wipe. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry if I spoiled it. It's only the beginning it. of the movie. Yeah, it's just the beginning of the movie. Don't go in with it. It's wonderful. Although there was the one guy. He did the bad thing. And then he paid the price later. Oh, oh yeah. You don't hurt my birdie friends. No, no hurting birdies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, and then free guy. Yes, yes, uh, I was a little disappointed. Free Guy was so good. I was disappointed I had to pay for it. It says right in the title, free. <laughs> I really... Uh, that was good. Thank you. Thank I God. did not know where you were going there. I was like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, this was very confusing. But uh, I liked it. Another Ryan Reynolds uh, vehicle, and mm -hmm. it was wonderful. I liked, uh, you know what? It wasn't, <laughs> this is in high heart. It was a silly movie mm -hmm. with a. Uh, it had a lot of plot holes. Well, it had a few big plot holes. Would you say it was uh, better or worse than uh, Ready Player One? Oh, that's, that's the uh, closest thing I can think to compare it to. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of similarities. A lot of the same Easter eggs. Where mm -hmm. Ready Player One was, as someone put it, uh, was well, uh, these guys I love watching on the internet from uh, uh, Internet Today. They called it uh, Easter Egg the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Ready Player yeah. One was definitely more Easter egg the movie yeah. than Free Guy was. Free Guy was, but Free Guy still had plenty of Easter eggs. Yeah, but I mean, it also was its own, tried to be yeah. its own thing. It did try. With did... only few things here and there referencing things. Because yeah. it was also a Disney movie, so it will get away with making Disney yes, references. They did some really and Marvel movie. references. Yeah, they did Disney, Marvel, video game references. And I don't think Ready Player Streamers. One was able to do either, so. Yeah, so Ready Player It had a reason to exist. I don't know. Which one was better? I think, well, it's hard for me to say, but I will say that Free Guy had more original content. Yes. <laughs> no, and it's also not based on a book, as far as I know. Yes. Whereas Ready Player One is. If uh, loosely, I've, I've yeah. heard that there's not a, as many uh, direct uh, comparisons. Uh, like I said, if you happen to be watching this, I believe you own a copy of that book. Uh, if you if you've read, finished reading it and have seen the movie, you know, feel free to let us know. <laughs> okay. uh, so anyhow, September was Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and My Little Pony: A New Generation. Which I thought were both uh, really great movies. Yeah, I enjoyed Shang-Chi, even if you don't like it. Again, more standard Marvel mm -hmm. formula. It, it doesn't really offer a ton of new uh, ideas, but it does have a few things. I mean, like, obviously, it's part of the new... Look, it does more for the storyline, yeah, like a lot of the movies We're still waiting does. for how it uh, connects yeah. into the greater uh, cinematic yeah. universe. I will say this. Even if you're tired of the Marvel formula, it has some very beautiful imagery. It's a beautiful Indeed, creatures it is. In it. There are so many fantasy creatures. Indeed. And they look amazing. And, uh, yeah, the, the trailers don't necessarily tell you that's going to be they in don't. the movie. But, they uh, don't really give away definitely much. Definitely look forward to seeing some fantastic sights. It's also got some great choreography for the fighting. 
At least yeah. I felt. Yes, it's got uh, great fight choreography. Especially a uh, fight n in near the beginning of the movie was should uh, if it didn't, it should have gotten an award for it. Yeah, yeah. And we got a uh, little payoff of one of the little uh, side stories, if you will, with one of the characters that was introduced in an earlier movie. Oh, are you talking about? Uh, yeah. Talking about that character? Yeah, yeah. We got a character. And he comes in and he he gets more of a payoff. They basically finish his storyline. Oh, are you talking what, about? Uh, that character. Sure. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, look, just watch it. If you if you want to see a fun movie with cool visuals and cool fighting, go see it. If you don't want to see it, the only reason you wouldn't see it is because you're like, I've had enough Marvel. <laughs> That's really the only reason. Who, who could say that? Come on. Not me. I've had a few. Uh, but not me. Like, and My Little Pony, A New Generation. It was fine. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I liked it. I liked My Little Pony and I yeah. thought it was a fun movie. Um, I definitely enjoyed the characters. Okay. Uh, I definitely liked Izzy uh, the best, the unicorn. Uh, she's definitely got uh, the kind of energy that I liked, as well as uh, the unicorn land uh, I thought was really fun. Uh, yep. they, they play DR! And uh, apparently mayonnaise is a dirty word. Yep. <laughs> it's cute. It was so cute, random. It was a cute movie. Uh, uh, nice introduction to a new... new uh, not really new universe, but the yeah, new generation. Yeah, well, so. it, it is and it isn't. I mean, it's it's supposed yeah. to take place a long time after the previous generation, yeah, but the they world. are implied to have existed already. Yeah. Uh, Twilight and her friends actually show up in the very beginning of the of the movie yeah. in a completely different art style from the movie, which is very jarring. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. They saw. I mean, they're they're a, a part of a fantasy sequence. Yes. Uh, so anyhow, next uh, was My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. We actually saw uh, the previous movie together right before we went and saw it the night before. Yep, yep, because we uh, had missed a movie. Yeah. We had, both, we had seen the first movie and uh, either didn't know or had just missed the second movie. Yeah. So then we're like, well, we, let's go watch it and then we'll go watch the latest movie. And we got these neat, this comic book, which I hate yeah. on the of it. But yeah, it's not there anymore. Oh. I, I filed it away. I oh, think. okay. But, but anyhow, the uh, the sink, the new movie, uh, the uh, World Heroes Mission, actually featured a blue villain. Yeah, they were, they were kind of interesting, but uh, I didn't really care for how uh, they were defeated. Yeah, well, it was kind of uh, missing another strange. one too. The uh, the one guy is uh, uh, oh. he's able to man. I am not gonna. What oh, the one? He's got a bird. He's got a little bird companion. We got a bird companion. And, it, and it, it's so cute. It is. It is. I mean, I don't know if it's as cute as this here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. All right, uh, next uh, we saw was Venom Let There Be Carnage, which was a movie. I. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. It was a movie. And if with... you've seen the first one, you might want to see this one. Yeah, it's more of the same. You saw the first movie. This is more of the same. If, if you haven't seen it and you want to go see the the new Spider-Man movie, uh, go look up the teaser at the end, and then you're yeah, good. That's, yeah, if you want to see how it connects to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, all you need is a teaser. You don't need the rest of the movie. Uh, like you said, if you want to see a movie that's got some pretty visuals and has only one act and zero character development, go see Let There Be Carnage. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Venom, the character, minus Eddie Brock, is definitely the, the scene stealer of the movie. Yes, yes, he's really, yeah. The That's... scene where he's on his own, s somehow, I won't say how, but when Venom is on his own, that is probably the funnest part of the movie. Yeah, but that's, that's a big thing. I think so. It really is, uh, there's not a lot going on with that movie. <laughs> like, they, I, I will, okay, look, I hated the portrayal of most of the characters, the backstories were either non-existent or very shallow or n terribly inadequate. And, yeah, uh, and, and inaccurate. They yes, changed them yes, quite they, a bit well, from their if canon. If you're going to judge it by the comic books as accuracy, then yes. Um, they've changed some characters a little bit and some completely, almost Indeed. completely. Uh, and like I said, there's basically just one act. Uh, Eddie and Venom fight with each other, and they're able to reconcile enough by the end of the movie to pull crap together. Yep, there you go. And, but with no real... No real lynch, but it's like, all right, let's work together. It's more like, ah, I'm bored now. Yeah. Let's just, let's just, just, you know what? If you like the first movie, watch this one because it's more of the same. Yeah. It's more of the same. That's it. I mean, if, if the third Venom movie comes out and you haven't seen it yet, 
you're probably not missing any much. Uh, nope. Like I, was, like I said, that one that couple, one major scene that I was talking about. There's a couple little seeds. But yeah, <laughs> you, you can go from the first movie to whatever the third movie is and probably be okay. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, next was Halloween Kills. Definitely liked that movie quite a lot more than uh, Venom. Wouldn't you say? Uh, I like most movies more than Venom. Oh, okay. Like, Venom <laughs> has great visuals. But uh, at least Halloween Kills uh, have tried to develop... It, it took a slasher movie and gave it more of a script than it normally would have. Yeah, I definitely agree to that. And usually slasher movies, you get uh, a background story, mm -hmm. and that's it. The rest of the movie is just the character killing people. And this does do that to some degree, but this mm -hmm. they keep the story going... Throughout most of the movie, there's no Indeed. point where there isn't a story at all. So, uh, other, a few other highlights are the fact that there's a lot of references uh, to previous movies, especially to Halloween Three, which Lyle and I reviewed on this yes, channel. Yes, yes, and they're done very well, and they're not overpowering. Like you don't go. And uh, there's also a fun uh, couple that shows up uh, in the middle of the movie, uh, played by um, uh, Michael McDonald. Yes. And uh, who was the other guy? Do you, I can't remember who his partner oh, was. Oh, shoot. I, oh, now I feel bad. I didn't remember Michael <laughs> McDonald. It's been he a was, few. Because he, he was on Mad TV and he was in the Austin Power movies. Oh, so, oh wait. Uh, was he? Yeah. And which one? What are, you, what are you asking, was he? Which I, I, one? I said Michael which McDonald. One? Yeah. That's the guy from Mad TV. Yeah. And he was in the Austin Power movies. He's the guy in every movie that died. He's the henchman that always died too easy. Like in the first movie, he was at the steam yeah, and he just goes, that's, no. that's him. That's yeah. the guy I just named. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was asking who the, his partner was. Yeah, I know. And I was talking about Michael McDonald. Okay. I don't know the partner. Okay, I, I guess he wasn't anybody we know. But anyhow, uh, it was a gay couple. And I oh. I, I thought that was quite, uh, you know, uh, it, they weren't portrayed negatively at all. They weren't like, oh, look, it's a, it's a queer couple. Let's kill them. Yeah, they were actually, you know, a strong couple, and they were treated as uh, positive characters. At least I thought Very so. Very strong couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, getting closer to the current day, uh, we saw Eternals. Uh, fairly long movie. Uh, some people had issues uh, keeping Eternals? the characters straight. Uh, but I thought Etern Eternals was oh, good. Oh, Eternals! What did you think I, I said? I mean, you said Eternals, and I'm like, <laughs> what's that? Did we watch an Interpol movie together? But yeah, uh, the movie takes place over thousands of years, and the characters don't age at all. I know. Uh, is... Because they're eternal. Uh, so a lot of people are having issues with that, but, uh, you know, as long as you keep it in mind, you know, they're not human. They may look human, but they're not human. That's why they look the same. You know, that's all you gotta do. You know, I, mean, I, I don't see uh, uh, why so many people have that kind of problem. But anyhow, uh, a decent movie, if overly long. Uh, Longer than it needed to be, yeah. It could it could as easily have been a Disney Plus series. Yeah. They could have broken it up into multiple episodes, and I think it would have done okay. Uh, watching it all at once uh, might have uh, hurt, hurt people's uh, opinions of it. Uh, next, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, yeah, I like that movie. That's the one with the ghosts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love Ghostbusters. Yay! I wish I saw some of the figures to show off. E Egon's granddaughter is the, the protagonist. Uh, yeah, yeah. And is, is she the one that's from... No, it's uh, her brother is the one that's from uh, Stranger things. things, right? Yep. Yep. So I remember hearing, uh, leading up to this movie, because it was supposed to come out last year. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, it's like, oh, Stranger Things, the kid from Stranger Things is going to be in this. This is huge. Uh, he's not as big of a character in the movie yeah, as you think character. with the whole Stranger Things angle and how big Stranger Things is. Uh, but he's really a this. decent character, and he's not, like, non-existent. But he's definitely not the focus. It is definitely the girl. And I thought she did a stellar job. Uh, I hope she has a, a big career ahead of her, because uh, I think she she did a great job in this movie. I don't know if it's her first if it's her first major role or not, okay. but I hope she gets more. Uh, next uh, was Spider Man No Way Home. Uh, I believe we talked about that one already. We both loved it, right? Yeah, I love the movie. All there right. was something went there that I forgot that we didn't mention. What was that? It was it bugged me that I didn't mention it in our first video. Oh no! And now I can't remember it. There was a thing that happened. 
Okay, keep going. I'll okay. come up with it later. Uh, so we actually just saw like three movies uh, in three days here. Uh, we saw The Matrix Resurrections and Encanto at home, and we just saw Sing 2, which is uh, why I got the lion on my shirts here. Yeah. All you really need to know about Matrix Revolution... Re uh, Resurrections. Resurrections is Did that, I say it uh, wrong? I don't know. No, no, I said it wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, the only thing that uh, th they can really say is uh, there were... Ch Basically, Warner Brothers is like, we're doing this movie with or without you. They even bring it up in the yeah, movie. In the movie, they do a lot of <laughs> meta commentary on it. That basically reveals the whole story. I'm a little surprised they could get away with so much. Uh, but basically, Warner Brothers is like, look, we're doing another Matrix movie with or without you. So, just be how. A lot of Warchowski is like, <laughs> uh, all right, I'll do oh, it. Oh. And then they went through and they got a bunch of the, uh, a lot of the original, a few of the original actors back and. Mm hmm. Told a story that didn't need to be told. And there's <laughs> even, like, clips and, uh, yes. like, flashes they of the original movie for some reason. A lot reason. of stock footage from the, from the live-action trilogy. It is very bizarre. I am really glad we didn't see it in theaters. I uh, just saw it uh, at home uh, yeah. for nothing but the, the price of uh, the streaming, streaming service that we've already got. Uh, I would recommend you do the same if you're at all interested in seeing it. Yeah. Uh, That's it. That's all you need to know. Especially considering, you know, if the movie doesn't uh, get... As uh, much money in the box office, hopefully they'll be like, okay, there's not enough yeah, interest. We won't make another they, one. They should stop. <laughs> as cool as it is, and as much as it could make another one, I think they should stop. Yeah, just just end it. Make, make the Wachowskis happy. That's but good. yeah, uh, so when I just realized what you were saying. They were asking uh, the Wachowski sisters, well, do this with or without you. Uh, in the movie, they're talking uh, to Keanu Reeves' character. So I at first thought... How are they going to do a Matrix movie without Keanu Reeves? Yeah. But then I realized, oh, you, you meant the Wachowskis. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Well, so, yeah. They the, meant the Matrix movie, not the greatest, but yeah, if you're interested in the Matrix movies and you happen to have the streaming service or some access to it, yeah. check it out if you're if you're okay. curious. Okay. But that's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, so, the other two, uh, let's quickly talk. Let's talk about the movie we just saw, uh, Sing 2. Uh Lyle and I both loved the original Sing. Uh, he actually saw it the other day. Uh, we loved it. Sing 2 was phenomenal. Uh, the character uh, They actually had some new characters that were not in the trailer. So I was very uh, pleasantly surprised that uh, some of the char new characters were not ruined by the trailer. Which I will say uh, the trailer has given away quite a bit. As, uh, uh, the trailer typical. gave away way too much. Yeah. The, the trailer shows stuff from... What is the final act yeah, of the movie? Yeah, sadly. But a you don't necessarily know where in the movie it takes place when you see the yeah, trailer. But yeah, true. sadly. It doesn't, it, well, but it's, it's the journey. Yeah, the, the journey movie is uh, mostly the journey and the music. Yeah, the journey and the music, which you still get, but I really hate that the yeah. trailer, the uh, trailer the, shows way the, too much from the end of the movie. The character's emotions are also fairly uh, important to en the enjoyment of the movie, I feel. Uh, some returning characters, uh, some surprise characters, some new characters, all really enjoyable, and a very large variety of, of animal species, yeah. uh, like comparing to some other uh, mo animal movies uh, that don't have as much diversity. Yeah, I wanted to see more birds. Yeah, there are a lot. More birds. There are a lot of birds, a lot of there, but there need to be more. Yeah, more birds. There more at least birds. was a giant bluebird in one of the billboards in the movie, and I like that's a that's a I like Sing that. Blue. Sing three, make it happen. With birds. Birds. <laughs> uh, we still need to see that, uh, or at least I still need to see. I don't think you've seen it, but uh, there was that movie about the two uh, um, turkeys trying to stop the first Thanksgiving. Ah. Free bird. Free birds? We have I, I can't be mixing that up. Okay, keep going. But anyhow, uh, uh, the other big movie wanna, I want to talk about is Encanto. I did not get a chance to see this movie uh, in the theater. I almost kind of wish I did, but, you know, it's still enjoyable watching it at home. Uh, definitely recommend this to anybody who is a fan of Disney. Uh, anybody who has, uh, like, Latin American uh, ancestry family. Uh, this movie takes place in Colombia. Uh, I thought, I originally thought it was in Mexico, because uh, that's where Coco took place. And I was like, oh, is, is this going to be like Coco? Is it, is it take place in Mexico? No, it actually takes place, is it takes place in Colombia. Uh, and um, it is a very cool movie. Uh, we have, uh, the I have the cast list of the characters here. Uh, Camillo, Dolores, uh, Felix, 
uh, Antonio, Pepa, Bruno, uh, the, the grandmother's just named Abuela, uh, Julieta, Augustin, Isabella, uh, Lu uh, Luisa, and the, the main character, Mirabel. And they all live in uh, the, uh, the, the Encanto, the very magical house that they, they reside in. And uh, almost all the characters have some kind of uh, magically gifted ability. And uh, yeah, the sad thing is the main character uh, doesn't seem to have a, a power. And uh, it's kind of her, you know... Uh, she doesn't know why she doesn't have power, and it's, you know, the journey through the movie to figure out, you know, what her destiny is. And, um, it was very surprising, but, um, I, I suspected it, but there is no actual villain in the movie. It's, uh, it's actually refreshing, uh, that there isn't, you know, a forced antagonist. I didn't think it needed more birds. Yes, there, there were some birds, there uh, were but some. there definitely needed to be more bird. Yeah, there was uh, there was a two cat which you can see in the trailers, and apparently in some of the background shots you can see some little macaws, and I'm like, oh, more of that, please, <laughs> more of that. We got Rio, and that's about it. Re and Rio too. And Rio too. I we need more and, bird and movies. The movie I just mentioned about the turkeys. Yeah, but they're not blue parrots. Okay, fair enough. I want more blue parrots. But parrot those are macaws in, in the other one. They're not parrots. They're macaws. Macaws is a species of parrot. Oh, just like a okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are the movies we saw this year. Uh, I've got quite the list of movies that came out this year I didn't see. Uh, just uh, shooting through them as quickly as I can here, because I know we're running a little bit late. Uh, we've got uh, Willy's Wonderland, which uh, I've heard is a uh, quite an interesting uh, horror movie or slasher movie, I think. Uh, Tom and Jerry, which I don't imagine was that great of a movie, but I still would be interested in seeing it. Coming to America, the sequel to Coming to America, with uh, the uh, perfectly cast... Uh, yeah, basically all the originals uh, back. They yeah, got, like, the perfect everybody cast. Back. Yeah, exactly. Amazon Prime. Check it out. Uh, okay, I'll, uh, we'll have to check that out at some point. Uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. That's the other movie I was alluding to. I had, uh, Between Soul and Raya and the Last Dragon, there's only a couple movies, uh, d major Disney movies, that I haven't seen that have come out lately. So I'm hoping to see that one. Uh, Boss Level, which is a Hulu movie. Um, uh, it seemed like it was going to be interesting. I never got around to watching it. I'm hoping to get to yeah. it soon, at some point. Yeah, uh, Zack nice. Snyder's Justice League. Uh, I don't know quite what the differences are between the uh, theatrical version and this one, but apparently it's enough to to make a whole new cut of it. So hopefully it does it, it, does it justice. Yes, yes. It is also a new cut and not something that existed before. A lot of people are thinking oh. that the Zack Snyder cut is something that was on a shelf somewhere. It's not. Oh. It is. Uh, Have you seen it? No, I have, I've watched enough videos about it. It oh, is actually, okay. they took unused footage, shot some new footage. Oh, cool. Uh, there's been editing did, that's been done did, because they had they, the advantage of time. Did they have to get rid of a mustache in this one too? or? I, I don't know if they did it. I did anybody. not notice that, by the way. I didn't think the movie it was that bad. It looks awful. But I cannot see this supposed missing mustache. It looks miserable. Okay. I don't know how you couldn't see it. But the mi anyway, I wasn't looking for it. Zack Snyder cut, not it. something that was on a shelf. Okay. Uh, next is Nobody. Uh, definitely is something that I had been interested in seeing. Uh, mm -hmm. With, um, oh, I can't think of his name from Better Call Saul. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh. I can't think of his name. Oh. Ah! You have to, you're gonna. That guy. He, he, you, you know who I'm talking about. Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, there you go, him. He's in that movie. He's and I don't think comedy. I've ever seen him me being the main character in a movie before. Yeah, same. I mean, it's possible he has yeah, yeah. been, but it's first that we've heard of it. Uh, I can't believe we haven't seen it, but Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, finally got to see uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters uh, last year. At least I think it was last year. Or was it this year? But yeah, finally got to see that recently. In fact, it was probably uh, in the lead up to this movie okay. coming out, and I missed it. Thank you. Arlo the Alligator Boy. No idea what this is. I love Arlo the YouTuber, uh, but yeah, Nothing obviously to do no with relation. That. Uh, but it's an animated animal movie. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. You have seen Mortal Kombat. I have not. Saw it in theaters. Uh, I did Disappointed. checking it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Mitchells versus the Machines. Uh, that was another animated movie that I uh, thought was interesting but didn't get a chance to see. Uh, next, Wrath of Man. 
I believe that oh, yeah. one was with uh, Jason Statham. And uh, yeah. that was something I was interested in checking okay. and didn't get a chance to. Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead, I don't know about, but I, I put it on the list. If, if anybody's seen it, let us know. Uh, Cruella. Uh, that's another Disney movie we, I didn't get a chance yeah, to see. Cruella uh, But yeah, I've heard that it's uh, actually not too bad. Okay. Uh, Spirit Untamed came out in June. Uh, along with Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway. Um, probably more interested in Peter Rabbit uh, than uh, Spirit Untamed, but... I saw the original Spirit yeah. Stallion Cimarron. <laughs> it might be worth checking those out. Uh, Wish Dragon. Definitely was interested in seeing that one. I think Jackie Chan's actually involved in cool. doing the voices. Uh, Luca. Now, that's the other Disney movie. I always forget there is, that movie came out. Uh, Disney has been pushing out way too many movies this year. Uh, F9. I have not yet seen uh, the Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw yet. But I like the Fast and Furious movies. I've seen all but the, uh, those two. Definitely would want to see that. America, the motion picture. No idea what that is, but it seemed like it's worth putting on the country my list. we live in. Uh, the Tomorrow War was uh, definitely a movie that uh, seemed like it could be interesting. Uh, the Forever Purge. Uh, I have not been a fan. Uh, I never seen any of the Purge movies. I've watched videos talking about them. Uh, it seemed watch. like it was interesting, uh, especially considering the premises. Uh, what if the Purge didn't let just last a night? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Fear Street Part 1, 1994, Fear Street Part 2, 1978, and Fear Street Part 3, 1666. No idea what those are, but I believe they're supposed to be based on something, uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen King. R.L. Stein wrote, and I loved R.L. Stein's work. Uh, so I don't know, if, you th if you've seen those and think those are worth checking out, or if they're, uh, mm -hmm. anything to do with, uh, the R.L. Stein, yeah. uh, books, hey, let me know. I'll, I might be interested in checking them out. Uh, Space Jam A New Legacy, definitely wanted to see that, love the original. Uh, I know they've made some changes, uh, and uh, it might not be as good as the classic movie, but still be interested in seeing it. Uh, Escape Room Term and the Champions, I uh, love the original movie. I was dying to see the sequel. Uh, sad that I missed it. Uh, next, uh, Troll Hunters, uh, Rise of the Titans. No idea about that one. If you've seen it, let us know. Uh, Snake Eyes, uh, I believe that's the, uh, one from the G.I. Joes, yeah? Yes, yes it's a, it's a Snake Eyes side story slash origin story. Okay. okay. This is a story about Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. He's a ninja, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you don't, you do you not know who Snake Eyes is? They, they might not He's know. I didn't Every, see it. Oh my goodness. Well, you better <laughs> get with it, folks. Snake Eyes is a ninja from the G.I. Joe and he doesn't talk. That's his stick. He doesn't talk. I don't know if he doesn't talk in, the mo in this movie, but... If he talks in this movie, I call bloody murder. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't, I don't really mean that. Continue. So, I put old on the list. I don't know that I'd want to see old unless somebody said it actually wasn't as okay. bad as you'd think. Yeah, okay. But the... that's the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next is Jolt. I don't know anything about what that is, but it's something about it caught my eye. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Uh, damn it, another Disney movie I haven't seen. Uh, that one was Star in the Rock. It is about the uh, the Disney ride, the Jungle Cruise ride, oh. as sung by Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, Devlin was interested in seeing that. The Green Knight. Uh, not the Black Knight, but the Green Knight. <laughs> uh, I believe that was Jimon Hansu's movie. I, I could be wrong about that, but uh, that one caught my interest. Didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, Don't Breathe 2. I didn't get a chance to see the first one, but I would see that one if somebody said this one was worth seeing. I like the first uh, one. Paw Patrol the movie. Uh, I have not seen this TV series. I really ought to check out some of that. Uh, I know some people who really like that kind of content. And if the movie, if any of you have seen that movie and think yes. it's actually worth checking out, <laughs> with or without that. watching the series, you don't have let to me say know. That after each movie. Uh, I am referring to a specific group of people, and you know who I mean. Uh, I won't name names. Uh, the protege. The protege. I'm not no idea about that one either. A uh, loud house movie. I have actually recently heard about what that's, that one that's was. That's this house when Sakaka talks. Uh, that actually is a live action adaptation of the animated series. Unless I'm getting it mixed up, and it's actually just an animated movie of this series. But I have seen a few year. episodes of the loud house, and it was it's not a bad show. Even if the creator has passed away and yeah, they've okay. kind of taken yeah, over. Gotta, yeah, uh, the Witcher, the Nightmare of the Wolf. Uh, I've never played The Witcher, but it might be an interesting movie. Candyman. I think I've seen the original. Would be interested in seeing that one if it's any good. Uh, September came Cinderella. I didn't even hear that Cinderella had got a movie until I saw this list. Uh, Malignant. Uh, 
Don't know if that's any good. I think it's a horror. Pretty sure it's a horror movie. Oh my god. Uh, oh Bad my god. Candy. Uh, not sure what that one was, but I put it on my list. Prisoners <laughs> of the Ghost Land. I, was that the uh, the one with the... Uh... I do not know what this is. Okay, I thought that was the karate movie with uh, Nicolas Cage in it. Hmm. Maybe that was Jiu-Jitsu, and I could be wrong. That was definitely not uh, Prisoners of Ghost Land. October was Adam Stanley 2. Uh, Love the first one. Uh, kind of sad I didn't get to see the second one, but hopefully I'll get to see that at some point. 007, No Time to Die. Uh, I've seen most of the James Bond movies that have come out since uh, I was born. I did not see uh, one of the ones uh, with uh, the current James Bond. Uh, Quantum of Solace, I think, was the one I skipped on. Okay. But yeah, I, I would be interested in seeing that. Uh, the Last Duel. Uh, not sure what that one was. Ron's Gone Wrong, I definitely would like to see. It's about a, a kid and a little uh, robot companion. Uh, Antlers. Uh, no, again, not sure, but hey, gotta love uh, the yeah. Itler boys there. Uh, Red Notice, another movie starring The Rock. Uh, seemed like it would be something I'd be into. Uh, Finch. Uh, do you know anything about birds. Finch? It's about a bird. It is? It's the type of bird. All right. <laughs> uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Uh, another movie that uh, certain uh, type of people might be interested in seeing. Yes, yes. It's a, uh, it's seems almost... like it could be uh, fun. I grew up with Clifford. I'm uh, that old. Home Sweet Home Alone. I have seen uh, the first three movies. Love them all. I don't care what you say. I like actually do enjoy the third movie. Nobody did. The fourth lying. movie can burn in hell. Uh, the fifth movie was eh. Okay. So yeah, I I want to see it just for completion's sake. Apex. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the video game, but it was on the list and it seemed like it'd be interesting. Extinct. Uh, I don't remember what Extinct was. I definitely think it was something I, I had passing interest in. Black Friday. Again, no idea. Uh, Black Resident Friday. Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. I am so sad that I missed out on seeing that one. Uh, but uh, I hope to see it eventually. I have seen all the other Resident Evil movies that were in theaters. If you're a furry, I heard it's a good movie. Because of all the raccoons. Um, I, I'm not sure about that, but I could be wrong. I have not seen it. Uh, 8 Bit Christmas. Uh, I believe that is on streaming services, so I may end up getting to check that one out. Uh, Back to the Outback. I don't really remember why I put that on there, but again, it might be good. Excellent uh, appetizers. Red Rocket. Uh, I don't think it's a, quite about what it sounds like, but uh, it could be. Not I think it's a raunchy one. movie. Uh, Rumble. That is a movie about the kaiju yes. and uh, fighting. They wrestle in the, the arena. Ooh, neat. Uh, and Nightmare Alley, I, I don't know about that. I saw that, that it was playing currently. And The King's Man, we almost saw that today, uh, but we needed to come here and film this. So yes, there's almost no uh, today left. Oh my, yes. You're probably wa it's probably not even uploaded until tomorrow. <laughs> well, anyhow, uh, yeah, that's our list. If you've seen any of the movies we haven't, you think we should, let us know. If you've seen the movies we have seen, let us know what you thought of it. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we hope to see you next week. Bye. Bye. -bye. You have, have, you happy have, New Year! Happy New Year! Yes, Yay! Happy New Year! Woo! One last thing, you have the you have the controller. Oh yeah! <laughs> you took it from me. I did, didn't I? So you have to be the one to end this. Bye. Bye. <laughs>